strategist Chris Boone. So most of the country is seeing the uh, average temperatures very much like winter across the majority. You do have that warm pocket in towards the southern parts of the country, again, in towards the southeast. And that includes us here in the Concho Valley as well. So we've been seeing those warmer temperatures, but we do have that kind of low pressure. It's kind of circulating out towards the a, uh, Colorado area. Actually, can kind of see some of that snow as well as rain in towards the Texas Panhandle. That's that first system that's going to be moving its way across the area. Again, it's going to be a little bit on the weaker side. We'll bring that increased cloud cover. Coverage, not expecting any rain or snow out of it, but we'll be watching for that next system behind it. That's going to be the one that's really going to drop those temperatures. Again, starting to see some of those that clouds uh, just off towards the north up in the Texas Panhandle. And again, that's going to be working its way across our area as we go through the overnight hours and in towards your Saturday, and that's going to start to clear up just in time for us on Sunday. We just see mostly clear skies as we went into the evening hours. Again, fairly quiet conditions, not a whole lot of activity as far as the satellite or the radar is concerned. Again, it's been a fairly dry start to the year so far, and unfortunately, you know, not seeing any rain going in towards the weekend. Temperatures fairly cooler uh, across the area, down into the upper 40s already, 49 degrees in downtown San Angelo. It's two points a little bit on the drier side as well. And into the 30s, those winds have started to die down across the majority of the area right now out of the east at 7 miles per hour. And again, we've been seeing them die down for the majority of the area. 50s for the most part across the majority of the Concho Valley. 55 in Mason, 57 in Menard, as well as Junction. 54 in Ozona, 53 out in Big Lake. Just a couple of 40 40s on the map here in San Angelo. And then a 48 up in Robert Lee. Everyone else into those 50s. Again, those winds have have died down, at least compared to the gust in the 20s that we saw during the afternoon, evening hours. Now we've gotten past sunset, starting to see those winds kind of settle back down. We'll continue to decrease into the single digits, into the teens across the over across the area as we go through the overnight hours. Tonight, overnight lows dropping down into the mid 40s, so still staying a little bit on the warmer side. We'll see that cloud coverage start to increase as we go through the overnight hours, but mostly clear skies expected. We'll see the majority of the clouds really start to move through the area for us tomorrow, continuing to increase those clouds as that frontal system makes its way across the area. That's going to keep things a little bit on the cooler side. Pull those temperatures down just a few degrees, back down into those low 60s, compared to the high of 69 that we saw earlier today. Again, still seeing that above average trend. And again, we'll see that change in the pattern really as we go in towards next week. Again, here's that first system that kind of skirts just to the north of us in towards parts of Oklahoma and Kansas. Again, barely clipping the northern parts of the state. So it'll allow for some cooler air to make its way in towards our area. It's not going to be that significant of a cool down. Much, much stronger low pressure system makes its way in towards our area for next week. So by Monday, you see the upper level lows sitting out over the Four Corners region in towards parts of the Rocky Mountains. That starts to slide over towards the east. And by Tuesday, makes its way in towards our area here in the Concho Valley. It'll be moving through the Texas Panhandle as well as for parts of the Concho Valley. That's going to increase our rain chances as well as bring us some much cooler temperatures. So again, the first system moves through. Not a whole lot of activity expected with that. We'll be keeping our eyes for Monday and in towards early Tuesday. That's where we see that low pressure system really start to develop as it moves off of the Rocky Mountains. Wintry preset possible up towards the Texas Panhandle in towards the Lubbock area. Further towards the south, though, on the south side of that low pressure system, likely to stay a little bit on the warmer side. So we're likely to see it stay a all rain event as the system moves across the state of Texas. So expecting that snow to stay well off towards the north. And then that's going to clear out with those much cooler temperatures back behind it. We'll see a drop going from the 60s as we go in towards the weekend. Monday still into the 60s with a 40% chance of some of that rain. And those temperatures really start to drop down into the 50s through the majority of the week.